but what's going on? You know, a little while ago, I was doing a video on indoor antennas, especially if you want to keep your antennas low profile where your neighbors don't see what you got and, you know, everybody, you know, prying eyes don't see what's going on. Uh, here's an antenna um, that I found here on the Internet. Uh, they're good for 2 meters and 440. This is a dual band VHF um, antenna. It's a um, it's about uh, five uh, five inches, I guess, or six inches. It's a dual band area HH dash N2 RS mobile antenna. You can probably find it there on the internet, and um, has different um, shows you a little bit about it there. Okay, what it looks like. Okay. Kind of like those antennas that you see on the back of patrol cars, on the back of police cruisers, uh, whatever. Um, you know, it looks like a pretty uh, decent antenna, especially if you want to, uh, you know, stay low profile. So that's one thing. Um, I want to also talk about, in this very same video, I want to show uh, my... Um, my um, HF setup when I uh, go away. Here's my uh, my pack here, and in that pack is my uh, FT817. Uh, that's an HF antenna for two meter 440, six meter from 160 all the way up to 10. So it covers the whole band. Here's my mic. Here's my six meter load. Here's my two meter load, 440 load. And here's my HF antenna. This antenna here is kind of interesting because it come it came from the old TRC 226 uh, radio from Radio Shack. But back in the 90s, Radio Shack used to make a radio called the TRC 226. And um, I had end up my wife ended up getting me uh, uh, one on uh, eBay, and I end up scoring two of them. The guy sent me uh, two. So I got two TRC-226s, and it came with those antennas. So now I have three of these antennas, and these antennas work very well on the H-17, especially uh, doing some 6-meter, uh, not 6-meter, I should say, 10-meter, uh, and yeah, a little 11-meter working as well. Um, I have another antenna that's extendable, telescopic, for 440 and 2 meters, and that works great on uh, two meter 440 single sideband. These antennas right here are stock. It came with the radio when I first bought it, and that's a uh, two meter 440 six meter antenna. You know, so that's pretty much it. And um, again, you know, here's my wires that connects to the battery. I have a, uh, a series of a, of a battery that I use here. charging yeah it's probably charging right now so anyway this is a look about a look about my uh my H17 it's not on right now the batteries are depleted at this moment there so I want to get that section that plugs right in here so I can just plug the uh the charger there and uh get the chargeable battery that goes inside because right now I just use regular uh uh stock batteries buy from the store Duracells or whatever the case may be so and that ain't gonna work so I got it where I could put it in the car and just plug it in a lighter plug it in the lighter adapter there and uh, has everything that I need in here SWR meter and stuff like that everything that my uh, 847 has my 817 has so that's a good thing anyway I just wanted to throw, uh, throw this out here my uh, 817 this is going to be getting a lot of use this summer, and um, we're going to make a video about it, 73s.